Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from <clears throat> the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. So let's pull your card and see what we get. So I'm going to pull an angel card first Aries and then we'll go into the cards this week. So what do we have for Aries please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Aries. 19th to the 25th of April 2021. So I've got listening to your intuition. This is about listening to your intuition, let your instincts guide you. So I'm going to pull three cards and then we clarify, go deeper into the message Aries, as you know by now we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. <clears throat> okay, my voice feels a bit croaky. Okay, so first card is out. We have the Eight of Swords in your challenge position. There you are, in the advice from Spirit. Love that energy. And we have the Seven of Swords here. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Aries, please. It will be 19th to the 25th of <clears throat> April 2021. Okay, what do we have for Aries? Let's clarify the cards on the table, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aries for the week. in the challenge position advice from spirit we have the ten of wands and the nine of cups interesting bottom of the deck we have the hanged man energy of anything that's been holding you back Aries um, it feels that's being released you know that the eight of swords can be sometimes when we make excuses or oh, I can't do that for this reason or I can't take action now because it doesn't feel the right time you know it, it sometimes can be, it can be when our mind is focused on the negative and the negative keeps us trapped stuck but there is some kind of it might well be a new perspective here or a new way of looking at something Or maybe something opening up for you that's new. The Fool is a new beginning. Could be new perspectives in your mind can also be a new beginning, allowing you to open up to some kind of new perspective on a situation. Let's clarify this Fool. Because it's where you want to take the leap of faith, take the chance. Let's clarify this Fool. Thank you, that flew out. Yet yeah, news. There could be some news here. News, conversation, communication, information coming your way. It feels that there's a breaking free energy. A news that's bringing change. You know, the Knight of Swords is also quite an ambitious energy. Uh, if you felt you've lost some kind of ambition or drive, there's definitely this energy of wow, I'm just getting this new, whatever this new path or new perspective that you're getting, it definitely feels that, you know, you are just ready to go for it here. The Ten of, of Wands, what has burdened you? What has burdened Aries, please, or what's burdening Aries? Okay, yeah, I've, you see the new is opening up for you. I'm definitely getting this energy of... You, you felt stuck um, thinking that things were never going to change. Something's going to happen here, Aries, that is going to help you release from that feeling of being stuck. And it's stuck in your own head, but it can also be physically being stuck. Um, because there's news coming your way that is bringing change. And 
requiring some kind of leap of faith action towards some kind of new beginning. And we've got a new beginning energy, energy here with the Ace of Pentacles. So if it feels in this situation, Aries, I mean, the Ace of Pentacles can be to do with moving, relocating. So can be to do with good news on the house front, job, you know, the house market can also be very good in terms of the job market as well. So business opportunity, job offer, financial opportunity, career opportunity. And it comes after a period of feeling like everything's getting on top of you. I just feel like the weight is going to be lifted. A weight is going to be lifted. And this is the advice from the spirit section because there is some kind of golden opportunity being presented here, the golden coin, the new door opening. It's a new beginning energy and it's something that you absolutely want to take action towards. So there's some news coming your way and it feels like it's lifting a weight because there's this shiny new beginning ahead of you. Now, you might be both moving and relocating and moving for a job, but you know, it can be also one or the other. It is essentially manifesting a new path in your physical reality, the Ace of Pentacles. And this is you. So I'm definitely feeling this energy of getting back on your throne, Aries, in your element. Yeah, there's a bit of powerlessness here or feeling powerless or feeling, you know, everything just feels impossible in terms of how you can move forward feeling trapped in a situation and then it feels that there's this news that's coming in that you absolutely want to go for take action towards and you know this queen of wands is you aries queen of wands is somebody who is in their power confident they understand intuitively when the right time to act is and i'm definitely getting the energy between these cards it's been some of you have had a difficult journey it feels a weight is going to be lifted it's to do with this new offer and this news coming in to do with some kind of offer opportunity a door opening for you now you know that could easily be also promotions um but it feels in this respect maybe a new something new new job because um new job new business opportunity new career front um can also be manifesting a new business as well but there's definitely this energy of acting strategically why are you acting strategically Seven of Swords. Why are you acting strategically, Aries? Um, it can be, we can sometimes act negatively in, in a strategic way. Thieves, stealing, deception. But this can also be about, you know, keeping your cards close to your chest and having a covert plan to get the end result. Which I f I'm feeling more is, this, is the latter. Yeah, I, it's, the, it's, it's getting the end result. There's a reason to celebrate. Uh, and this is this is also happy communication as well because it's a mercurial energy. So you're acting strategically here in order for the winter to be over and the spring to come to reap the reward, re re reap the harvest. And that's what these people are doing. You know, you can see the beginnings of the harvest is coming in. All their hard work is paying off. Um, so you've been acting strategically here. And, you know, there has been a feeling of being in limbo. I'm definitely getting this energy with the hanged man. I mean, the hanged man can sometimes be things need to play out. Um, the ducks need to be in a row. You know, things need to be aligned before you can step through to this new door. So it might well be there might be a little bit of a delay here, Aries. For some of you, there might well be a little bit. It feels like there could be a little bit of a wait, but it doesn't feel too long. For some of you, it just feels like the waiting is over uh, because the nine of cups, I mean, we know what this is, don't we? It's the wish fulfillment card. And actually you are being aligned to exactly where you need to be with this card. It's a card of reasons to be thankful, celebration, happiness, joy, contentment, satisfaction, achievement energy as well, a personal achievement. Um, so you have brought about some kind of wish coming true. It's by the actions that you've taken. This hard work is not going unrewarded. You are going to be reaping some kind of harvest. It, it feels very good in terms of property. It feels very good in terms of if you're moving or relocating. It also feels very good in terms of uh, money, career, finances, Aries. Some new door is opening for you. There's reasons to celebrate. I love that energy. Um, the, the message is you are keeping cards close to your chest for a reason, but you know it seems to be paying off. <clears throat> There's some good communication coming your way. If you don't think that um, 
I'm getting this energy, you know, if some of you think an opportunity is beyond you or uh, beyond your skill set or beyond, you know, what you're capable of. No, this is a, this is the leap of faith. Take a chance. So this is about going for it. It's a, it's a card of spontaneity, the fool. Go for it. Jump in because it don't think twice. OK. Because I think you might surprise yourself is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we have precious time. This fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either, yeah. This is use your time, oh, look and look at the bottom, look at the bottom. Celebration again. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out and dance and play. An invitation could be on its way. So here's the thing, you know, I've got celebration 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 three lots of celebratory cards coming your way so i definitely feel for some of you there will be reasons to celebrate here so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you